Hey everybody, this is Birch. Uh, let's get right to this email, which insults all of you, you, the listeners, the people who, uh, you know, it's only fair. I, I mean, some of you take shots at me, so it's about time that one of you took shots at all of you. So, so let's do it. Hello, Perch P. Perchington. Your comment section is stupid and filled with dumbasses. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's talking about you. No, um, I, it, I like how you get right to it. Um, anyway, put the Build the dumbasses. I just listened to your video, They Don't Hate You, which is making the most benign milk toast, uh, parentheses, no offense, uh, point. And yet people are just so excited to argue with you and sound like dumbasses in the process. I say again, your audience is dumb. But in this, but in this, uh, in, in all, in this waste of comments comes a point that several people make over and over, not just in your videos, but in many videos, which is that creators have destroyed countless properties. I'm not sure exactly what this means, since, as has been pointed out by a number of people, including yourself, these comics are still getting published, movies continue to make a billion dollars, and so what are we talking about, really? Given that Sorry, given I, given that the last several Star Wars movies made hundreds of millions of dollars or a billion dollars plus and continue to get licensing deals and spinoffs and other things, how is it failing exactly? I'm sure, I'm sure lots of people have opinions, but I'd sure like some of that money. That's all I'm saying. P.S. I personally hated the last three movies. They should have stopped with the first three and been done. But I guess a lot of your commenters are going to call me a cuck now. I think cuck is kind of old. I, I think that kind of, that insult seemed to go away in like 2022. Where, you know, we're into libtard now. Um, even soy is also old. That's kind of an old one. I think uh, uh, disingenuous, people are into using bigger words. Like, you're gaslighting us with your disingenuous straw man arguments it's like okay all right somebody's been to twitter or reddit uh but i don't think i don't know by, by all means call this call this poster a cuck i guess i whatever <laughs> my question to you is to find the shining pearl out of all this manure okay see now you're being douchey all right with the all right find the shiny pearl. which franchises do you think have actually been destroyed or which franchise do you think has been destroyed the most? Curious to get your take on that. Keep doing what you do. Don't let the haters get you down. Remember, most of these people are single-digit IQ. Who, I'm not going to say that person's name. All right. Uh, who listened to another YouTuber? We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> That's another one people start using. I try and you know have a, a, a degree of kind of modesty and not like flinging dirty laundry everywhere. And uh, people are like, why are you Voldemorting? It's like, okay, okay, stop, stop Harry Potter. We're, 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 we're gonna, I understand lots of people do, you have used that term, like, it's Voldemort, that mentioning the name. Yes, that was very clever as well the first time you used it. You now sound like a teenage girl, but uh, keep on doing it, pal. Uh, just like we say parakeet on this show, next time you see somebody saying that in the comments, you can say, Birch said you're a pussy. Um, anyway, all right. I'm going to pick about teenage girls. I've got two of them now. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> so which franchises have been uh, been actually destroyed? Well, look, um, first off, you know, there's two ways to look at this. The first way is to say, has the franchise been destroyed for you? For me, the Star Wars franchise was destroyed by a film called The Phantom Menace. And a little bit, to be fair, Return of the Jedi. I, I, I admit it. Um, I like Star Wars. I enjoyed it. I had big dreams about it. I liked Empire Strikes Back. Um, I love that film. I liked uh, much of Return of the Jedi, but I was a guy who, uh, you know, or the kid at that time, who was watching the uh, VHS tape of Return of the Jedi and fast forwarding through the uh, the Ewok scenes because it's like I'm not. I, I'm sorry. I can't like giant teddy bears. No, I don't know why. It's just too stupid for me. No. And then I went to see The Phantom Menace with uh, friends, and I'm like, holy shit, this film is awful. 
Like literally, like like hey, this is so bad. This is such a bad fucking film. And Star Wars is dead for me there. So by the time we got around to uh, Ryan Johnson, I'm like, okay, so we're doing the O.J. Simpson chase, but in space. With and why are we going to Vegas Planet? I, I don't. What is even going on with this movie? Like all emotional attachment, the the franchise had been destroyed for me at that time. But but forget. Him. So so that's true for all of us, by the way. For all of us, and I suspect that's really what a lot of these people are talking about when they say these creators have destroyed franchises. They mean for them. Sometimes it means, you know, in general, they had a stinker of a movie or something that was a box office failure for sure. But, you know, a lot of the uh, this has been a failure wasn't actually a failure. I got my first taste of this with uh, fuck, I don't I think it was Birds of Prey. I don't remember. And, you know, I, again, I'm a, I'm a, I can be a math guy. I can be a financial guy. I can be a consultant guy. I've run the numbers and it, it just some of them a lot, frankly, of the movies that people say are, you know, financial flops, disaster. It's imploding. Um, they 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 work, though. That's not how math works. They, you, you're having to do really you know, like weird things. Like I went out Fandango and there was there were no t- there were there were nothing but tickets available. All the seats were empty on opening weekend. Therefore, and it's like, OK, but that's a, yeah, that's what they call an in of one. And in letter in of one, um, it doesn't. It does, you know there are certainly been plenty of flops, but there are not as many flops as uh, YouTube would have you believe. Um, so Star Wars, a franchise. I, I mean, there has it been destroyed? Well, clearly no. They're still pumping shit out with it, and people are still signing up to license it, and the money's still there. Um, but is does that mean that Star Wars uh, couldn't be doing better? I mean. I mean, there's a you have to believe kind of thing because, you know, there's a possibility that kids just aren't going to be into Star Wars. It's just not their thing, no matter what you do. So, I, I mean, we don't know. Um, that's just where it's at. But but could Star Wars better? Yeah, probably. I think it's it's almost a safe bet to say Star Wars could definitely be doing better than it is. I also think Star Wars is way oversaturated. I think that they milked the shit out of that. You know, they, they bled that. Sorry, so they they bled that stone dry. I think Star Wars is is there. So some some jackass is going to uh, interpret what I'm saying as like, Birch says that Star Wars is doing great. No, again, I'd like I, you know, go go ahead, you, you dumb fuck, go ahead. Um, but no, it 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 clearly could be doing better. Um, but it you know it's it's still a valuable property that people will pay for and can generate money. I mean, that, that is just a fact. It should be able to generate more money. Sure. You know, I, I am still, I, well, no, I'm not anymore. Or am I? I don't think I have Disney shares anymore. Um, maybe. I don't know. I got a, a lot of options once upon a time, but I think those are gone now. Um, but but anyway, it, it look, uh, it's it's not my deal. So comics, what I think has, has truly been destroyed. Um, I, to me, there's there's one really, really obvious answer. And that's X-Men. X-Men for years and years and years carried Marvel. I mean, if you look at X-Men in the 80s, X-Men in the 90s, 2000s, even when X-Men, the property began to cool off a little bit, you could do certain things. You could throw out Wolverine and like people would gobble it up. You've got Greg Capullo coming back to Marvel after a long absence working with Jonathan Hickman, who's one of the you know true writer superstars that's emerged in comics. And they're on Wolverine, and it's it's sold okay, but it's not. I mean, it, it, people are not really talking about it. It's got no real buzz, and it you know there was a point where the franchise was so red hot that would have done half a million copies. You know, the days of Jim Lee selling millions of copies or Rob Liefeld selling millions of copies, those days are over. And and you, you know they're they're it's been destroyed now. You know you could put you know there's this rumor that Jim Lee was going to come back on the X Men. Um, I, you know, even if Jim Lee came back on the X-Men and you did actually, you, you reunited the whole cast, Scott Williams, Jim Lee, Chris Claremont, all back on X-Men doing a run, doing 12 issues. It's, it's not going to sell what it did in the nineties. And I, I, like we talked about, there's distribution issues and blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. But the franchise has been nuked to some extent. You know, the from the ashes thing feels ice cold and it's only been like a couple months. So I, I think that that's that to me, that's the clearest example of a franchise that that has been truly in comics that has truly been mismanaged into, you know, suckery. 
uh, they could they could still sell stuff, but it it is no longer anywhere close to where it was, and not a lot. Not you can't blame all that on the distribution. So to me, X Men is probably the most destroyed franchise. It feels like Spider Man is really trying to be a you know runner up to that. Um, I think what Nick Lowe is doing on that title is just a uh, bizarre strategy of uh, you know being sarcastic with the customers. And I mean, again, you don't have to be a suck ass. And and that's a video for another time, by the way. It's like you know, a lot of people are, have like the thinnest of possible skins when it comes to creators like clapping back at them. And I'm not saying the creators should do that. And keep in mind, I'm drawing a huge gap between being sarcastic and going and, and going like, fuck you, I'm going to knock your teeth out. You know, th th that's two. That's there's a major difference between A and B there. I think uh, it's OK to have if you have a relationship with the fans where you, you know, they're a little salty, you're a little salty. That can work out. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think everybody has to be like, yes, sir, let me have another. Please serve me more shit. Um, I, I think that's stupid. And I think the, you know, the fans who uh, do that, to use, a, you know, to use an overused word, are very disingenuous. Um, but at, at the same time, I, I think uh, you know, when a title is struggling, when people are asking for a specific plot, when you know, you, you're bouncing around with writers, when you've introduced... Paul, the giant simpleton, um, you know, that, that uh, Spider-Man is, is working overtime to fuck itself, in my opinion. Uh, it, so, so to me, it's, it's, I'm curious what people say in the comments other than like, Hey, you got insulted. So take that. Uh, but, uh, come on, it, it, you, you, you deserve it. We all do. <laughs> Birch is mean. I don't know. Um, but I, what do you think the most destroyed franchise has been in comics? And and I always just and and you could does it you could you could separate it if you're if you're brave enough and I hope you are separate that out by you know destroyed for you personally and then destroyed in the business because those are different things. So what's the uh, what's the franchise that's been destroyed for you personally? What's the franchise that you think has been destroyed from the industry? To me, I, I think it's it 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 would be hard. I'm curious to see if somebody can come up with something more obvious than x -Mit. But uh, we'll find out in the comments below. And thank you for listening. And for, you know, taking the insults. I mean, you know, I, I do it every day. So, you know, you, you, you can get it once in a while.